Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Derek Branch here of uh, StrikeSellersports.com. Today, I just want to um, talk about the uh, recent report that just came down that's concerning um, Lakers big man Anthony Davis. Uh, according to uh, Adrian, Adrian um, Orzhanovsky, Davis will be out for uh, two to three weeks with a calf strain from the injury he suffered yesterday from the game against the uh, Denver Nuggets. Um, he lost that game, by the way, um, but he's out two to three weeks, but. Um, that injury, I thought that injury was more, a little worse than what I thought it was going to be. Um, that was a slow limp back to the uh, to the locker room. That that limp was hard. It's a hard slow limp too. Um, I thought it was the he probably probably messed damaged the Achilles, but it was a, a, a strain uh, calf a strain calf muscle that he pulled last night yesterday in the game. Um, just one of those moments, those moments that he always makes. And just it flared up. I mean, he was dealing with it um, prior to that anyway. So, um, it, it, they say it's two to three weeks. Um, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's a big strain on LeBron James, who um, is currently leading the league in um, minutes played right now. So, that's going to be uh, interesting to see how they manage LeBron's minutes going forward. Um, if they're going to, um, you know, a good thing could be um, – you know, just set out, set Davis out for the entire month. You know, um, just hold him out just longer than that. Even after the All-Star star break, hold him out even more. But um, there is no um, pandemic break that would allow LeBron to rest up and come back and be have all this energy that he's uh, had last year when he was just blocking shots, just making a lot of plays. And all. I'm not saying that he's capable of leading the team, but it's going to be difficult to, you know, get out of the West without Anthony Davis' presence on the field, on the court. And if they bring him back too soon after those two to three weeks, that injury could come up or could flare up again and uh, something else could happen. You know, it, it could hurt him. It could possibly hurt the Lakers. But um, those those minutes going to be – they got to dial back. They might have to dial back on those uh, minutes of um, LeBron James going forward, you know, um, they got some good teams in the West, you know, um, that's rising up. Um, Utah's um, show is uh, ascending. You know, one of, I believe, is 18 games, I, I believe, since uh, January, the beginning of the month, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty good team. Uh, you got Phoenix. They're a young, young team, but they're getting better with Chris Paul's presence. Um, we got uh, the Clippers, who everyone expected to be the team that takes – over that was going to take the West last year, but didn't. So it's just going to be um, up to the Lakers' um, brass to determine how they're going. What's the plan of action going forward? Um, and then another thing, um, I think you know they shouldn't worry about the home field, the whole having the whole home field advantage factor yet because they're still not. They're still up in the air of whether they're going to bring fans back to the arenas. You know, with the, the vaccines and the cases going down sharply. It's just a big up in the air right now. And with LeBron, I mean, you really don't need those fans right now. Um, you know, home field advantage is just not a a big deal. I'm not saying the Lakers are going to free fall out of um, the top seeds in the West, but not having Anthony Davis, you know, for that time being is going to hurt them. But the key is to get into the playoffs, man, and make something happen with, with a healthy, a 90, a 90, a 90 to 100% healthy Anthony Davis, man. You want – that injury that Achilles to get it, to get as bad as it can, you know, you don't want to, you know, have a Kevin Durant situation where um that uh you come back when you shouldn't have and that you, you, it turns into a torn ACL. So you don't want that to happen, you know. And then next season you out you without AD at all, and that that really puts a strain on LeBron, you know. So um that's what I have for right now, man. Just give me a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. How you think the uh what what do you think the plan of action should be for the Lakers going forward with um uh, without AD? Do you think he should come back after those two to three weeks, or he should take a, a extended period off to rest up that injury? That's all I have for right now. In the description box below, check out strikesellingsports.com for latest content on sports. Have a blessed day, peace.